All right, well, it's been a few weeks. We've been doing a lot of stuff um, that we've kind of done before, so it just wasn't worth doing any real videos on. Working on Southern Comfort on the closed loop system, redesigned that entire thing. It's holding 20 pounds. We had some problems with some pumps at a pump manufacturer. Got all that resolved. It's, it's been a pain. But anyway, um, so this is something new and different. Oh, I did the little video on that Nordhaven that we lost an engine on. Uh, we're still going through hatchet heats on that, trying to figure that one out. But um, I was on Charter yesterday. I'm on Hatteras right now. These are Perkins uh, T63544s. I know these things like the uh, the back of my hand. I've um, owned these for 20-something years. I don't even want to say that. But uh, I got two sitting in my shop. I think you guys have seen that. I went down to Florida. In fact, bought this one, this one and another one down in Florida and they were piles of junk, and they sat around my shop, and then this one blew up by another captain, which was great, um, and I rebuilt the this one that was in my shop, and put it in the boat, and it's been working great. Yesterday, <clears throat> we were out on charter, and this engine just decided to stop running. Well, you know me, I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I'm like, well, there's uh, Fort Johnson over there. Didn't even skip a beat. I actually, they were super, super nice people, a lot of fun to be with. So I actually told them, like, you know, we're running on one engine now, right? And they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, no big deal. Happens all the time. But anyway, I think what's going on is that this is my low pressure pump right here, my priming pump. And um, it works. I didn't bring it in. I'll show you in the next clip. Um, it works off of the, the cam down here. And that primes to the uh, high pressure pump, which is a CAV pump right over here and when I go to the other side I'll show you that so I'm not getting any fuel I'm getting fuel up to my fuel line here but as I prime the bottom of it here there should be fuel pouring out of that this I disconnected this there's no fuel coming out so I've been priming 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 yesterday when I got back so I'm thinking it's that so I went back to the shop yesterday and grabbed spare off of one of the engines i've got back there so we're gonna put that one on and see if we can't reprime this baby back up and get her back into her slip okay so i've got plenty of fuel flowing out of here now i just put a little gasket maker on there cleaned up the surface there um there's really not much of a gasket between the two but just out of precaution i put that on so i'm going to put that back on and screw back in the uh flare fitting right there and then I've got the other side already cracked right here so we're going to bleed up to here I've got all the injectors cracked I've got the pump high pressure side on the pump cracked and then we'll start to uh, bleed the system out and hopefully get this girl fired back up because they're pretty they're pretty really they're really pretty good engines um, don't have a lot of problems with these Perkins so very expensive um like these multi coolers and stuff like that are very expensive and hard to get the parts but um anyway uh so let's go let's do this i got 15 projects to do today all right so <clears throat> next you have to remember that you know i was out on charter when this happened so you know any fl uh, fluid any diesel that was in here has basically gotten sucked up and used through the engine so Things like my fuel filters here, my primaries on the engine. Um, I just cracked the banjo fittings on those, and there's there's no fuel in here. So I'm going to be here all day trying to prime this thing. So I'm going to try and um, fill these two canisters up, which then will give me pressure or create a vacuum to my high-pressure pump. Then I can finish bleeding my high-pressure pump and then hopefully get it up to the injectors and get it out of here sometimes it's just easier just to bite the bullet and rip it apart and uh you know it's just a lot quicker than saying oh well i'll just you know keep priming it for the next three days yeah probably eventually it will work but uh, a lot of times it's easier just to go ahead and um like i said bite the bullet and just crack everything pull your fittings off fill everything up i mean these things sound like they're they're hollow i think so um and then I'll probably get fuel up to the injectors and we should get it fired over. So, yeah, it is what it is. But, it, I mean, it ran out of fuel. So these filters are probably completely empty. And it makes perfect sense, the reason why we're not getting... It's taken so long to get something up here from the just the priming filter or priming pump. 
All right, well, not too much longer later, this is uh, no longer accepting fuel. So I think I've put enough fuel in here as well as bled through all the lines. I don't see any more air coming out of here, which is also a good sign. So we're getting pretty close to prime. I still have all the injectors cracked here, but I got to start putting everything back and tightening everything up to make sure that I'm not sucking more air out of the system that I've already bled. So it's kind of like crack everything, get all the air out, tighten it back up again once you got solid fuel and then kind of keep moving on down the line. And then hopefully once it gets up to the high pressure pump, it should be pretty much just all suction and then it should be pretty good. So that's down just a tiny bit more. I'm just gonna top it off and just let it all kind of go through. Uh, and then, but this is far cry from where, and you can hear, hear that? Those are full. Remember before it was like tink, 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 tink. So those are full now. So that's good. Making progress. It's a slow roll, but said so this is usually where people quit and say, I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's broken. And then call somebody, but it's really one of those things where, you know, like I always say, too stupid to quit this is definitely one of those times where it's you know it doesn't have fuel in it well if it doesn't have fuel in it and it's got air in the system it ain't gonna run you gotta get all the air out and you just gotta systematically just go through it and uh so that's what we're doing but uh, don't give up is the the mantra on this one when you guys are bleeding a diesel engine don't give up on it keep bleeding all right well i couldn't get to my camera in time but i'll show you what's going on so we bled all this out here this is good and then my high pressure pump is right here i cracked this let's see if more air comes out i hear that that's all air you don't want that but you see the diesel now that's good and when i was cranking it there's all the air Um, when I was cranking it, you can see that this one, see the little bit of stuff there, some stuff there. I left this one in and it popped. This one popped. So I stopped it. So I'm going to go back and, um, crack down, knock down all these injectors again. And I'll bet you she's going to fire. So I'll have the camera out and ready. You guys can be there. For, uh, for the first firing after we lost the priming pump. So I'm going to crack down the injectors. Just make sure that that's going to bleed this out. Okay, looks pretty good. All right, so let's crack down the injectors and I'll bet you she'll fire. All right, so all the injectors are cracked down or tightened back down again. I've uh, tightened back down the little bleeder on the high pressure pump. So let's take it out of full blast. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. It's almost there. A little pop. Okay. There she is. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, she sounds real good. Usually there's a little sputter. <laughs> Running nice and smooth. Now you might get a little burp in here because I mean I did a pretty good job of getting all the hear that knocking? A little bit of knocking there, that's just a little bit of air still left in there. A little smoke out of the back of the boat. Yes, sir. Another one done. All right, I'm going to let it run for five minutes before I get it off the dock here, but... That's how you bleed an engine. It's literally just 
stay the course. Start at one thing, move on to the next thing, move on to the next thing. Just don't go to the end. Start at the beginning and just work through. I know it seems like that takes longer, but this actually this is the quickest way to do it. It's just do it systematically, open everything up, kind of bleed it, and then crack, you know, nail it back down as, as you go. Verify, trust but verify. Make sure you've got everything. So that's it. It's just a low pressure pump and it completely ran out of fuel. So Perkins P63544 on uh, one of my Hatteras. So. That's it, we're gonna run across town right now. We're gonna do a turbo that I finished drilling out for that stud and uh, put that new turbo in that we just got back from Turbo Exchange. That was supposed to be the video for today. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put it down in the comments and um, we'll see you over on the turbo.